welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from uh, the videos I normally do. Even though my channel uh, mainly is about makeup, sometimes I talk about fashion and style. Uh, some time ago I did the video about uh, how to channel a French vibe, French style into your daily life. And I uh, listed, I think it was five um, kind of ways to do it because we want to have it short, right? <laughs> we want it like tick, tick, tick. Now, today's video I want to dedicate um, to a style, so to speak, old money kind of vibe mentality, what triggers actually this kind of style? First of all, uh, old money is a certain class, of course, that comes from old money. Uh, it's uh, something that have been that has been passed from generation to generation. It's money, it's inheritance, it's um, just uh, yeah, the special upbringing. And uh, to start with, uh, let's say number one uh, distinction is uh, uh, quality over quantity. Uh, the people, uh, the mentality of people from coming from um, old money, uh, they normally uh, don't follow trends. Uh, they don't have this desire for everything popular and trendy and uh, up to date. Maybe because, uh, well, yeah, this is their upbringing and uh, they like things to be um, sort of uh, durable, that has a lasting value and uh, I find it even uh, the mindset a little bit old-fashioned. Uh, they like things that have some historical value. From this comes this, um, mm, I don't know, it's not obsession or anything, but liking everything that is a little bit antique, that has a little bit of a vibe of a, I don't know, some old uh, valuable things. Yeah, well, antique, as I said, vintage, um, because they're brought up like this, because they are kind of used to like things that, that are sort of old let's say the interior even design in uh, the houses of old money it's a little bit like it's a mixture of very old things that maybe your grand grandmother owned and yeah some new things but their style in fashion in interior in in general the perception of how things the surrounding how things should be around them is a little bit uh, Backwards is not the word. Uh, I didn't even mean that. I don't know why it kind of came to my mind. It's a little bit like, if it's not broken, why change? It's good, let's say it's a good jacket. And I can wear it for 20 years, as long as it, you know, in a good condition. And that kind of a mentality. Yeah, it's, um, you can think sometimes like a bit like, frugal or something even if they they have money to spend on a new jacket obviously and to buy many 10 of these jackets but they don't think like this they think well that's a good jacket and probably it's a very expensive one it has nothing to do with the fashionable cut or if it's popular for them it doesn't matter now that's one point like quality quality over quantity and they don't follow a trend mainly it's all about just channeling their own way this you know sleek uh, preppy if I have to think about like style their preferences go to you know the picture of Ralph Lauren campaign that's the epitome of old money mentality style Mm, elegant, uh, expensive, everything that is um, equestrian, 
sport related golf tennis they uh, channel this look uh, if you've noticed a lot of like um i don't know let's say uh, who we can call money let's say royalties i mean because all money belong to um uh, mainly to uh, some aristocratic families and uh, just you know with a name so there are a lot of polo shirts uh shirts like white shirt is like number one accessory like you always can spot white shirt like some I don't know elegant trousers or like you know and that's that and this uh, nice watch not exaggerated something like Patek Philippe you know very nice very sleek very um, you know um, discreet this is the word and that probably the third like point in our um, kind of a distinguished point of old money is discreetness. Nothing is flashing, nothing is showing that you have a lot of money or a lot of, you know, um, just the style is just not cool. So it, it's just not classy. If you belong to a certain class, like old money, high class, I don't know. Um, you uh, yeah you, you you don't show it and that's what class is about is about being discreet is not to show that here i am because you don't have to prove yourself to anyone you already have a class you already belong to a certain circle um popular trendy things uh, this mentality belong to a new money generation sort of um, or different type different class i don't know uh we're with like we told we, we're not i'm not gonna exactly <laughs> talk about classes or anything like this because we live in the world we can belong to anything we want and do whatever we want and freedom and all that we, we're just a little bit like making a resume of what old money um style mentality is so this discretion that uh, like being discreet uh, no flashy clothes accessories and actually it's not difficult because if you have to think about it um uh, accessories let's say it's mainly about inheritance things that were passed on from generation to generation mainly it's uh, pearls diamonds and uh, they're not big <laughs> they're just this you know thing a diamond necklace some ring mainly it look a bit uh, antique vintage looking like because it's old i know a lot of people are, like design like they for instance they take a diamond and they make it more modern new that also happens because you know not everyone wants to wear some old-fashioned piece of jewelry, but mainly they're proud of the jewelry they have. They want to carry on from generation to generation the way it looked, the way your grand-grandmother wore it. It's, it's a thing, actually. That's supposed to be cool, not something that is new and, you know, more than up-to-date. Now, um what else i can say uh old money sometimes doesn't belong to that doesn't mean actually having money it means uh a mindset it means the upbringing it means what i mean not having money meaning like cash flow like you know they're not businessmen we're talking about something that exists this money exists they they invested in something there are maybe the properties or art and uh, people with old money also have a certain uh, perception of value of money. It's different. It's not about spending. It's not about having the last, uh, the latest, uh, having, uh, you know, um, like this lavish lifestyle. It's about being very comfortable, classy. Um, 
they also need to kind of maintain their lifestyle that belong to their circle, their old money circle. And that means that uh, the attendance of certain um, events, uh, the, um, you know, the, let, let's say education, the attendance of, of special, of uh, particular uh, universities, schools, this is where all the money go for like they need to to uh, continue the uh, traditions and to continue the traditions that they have to keep up with the, and maintain the lifestyle that their grandparents were maintaining and they have to be uh, kind of like in the boundaries of their inheritance talking in general of course there are a lot of people from old money they are you know they're earning money as well it's not like they're just living and living on their inheritance but mm, kind of the philosophy behind all money is like basically you are sort of like not exactly doing anything in particular you're just dealing with the the inherited money and the, maintaining the lifestyle you are supposed to have uh, it's almost like living 19th century <laughs> anyway obviously I'm not getting into the deep because there are always exceptions uh, there's always uh, I mean there will there's a modern world uh, we're living in if I have to think about uh, kind of a modern uh, style old money school uh, I feel like the gossip girl was very in the border of like showing it you know this um, school where you can get only if you have connections, if you have a family, like a surname, you know, that says like you are from old money. And if you notice their style, even though they're tried to be modern and fashionable, but it was very preppy. This, you know, the scars, the hair bands, you know, it's, it's very, it's this kind of a, very preppy. If we talk about shoes, it's always uh, the number one is like loafers and uh, that kind of defining like you know trousers loafers hermes uh, gucci the the fashionable houses with history women normally go for chanel because it's very also it, it's elegant it's uh, also kind of durable the fabrics the if you think about the tweed, it's like number one uh, fabric for that kind of like uh, old money school style. Pearls, even the scent, even the Chanel number no. five, you know, it, it, it smells like, like, it's not my favorite perfume, so, but okay. A lot of people like it because it's a little bit nostalgic. It's something that your mother or grandmother smelled like, you know. And that's what kind of bit like that's all money and here it is i hoped you enjoyed this video i hoped you liked it if you like this kind of subjects in general let me know and i will do more videos uh, about style and in general mindsets thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye bye